Well, welcome, good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this is part four of Let's Play Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion HD Renovation. So, OBS seems to be working fine, so let's go and hop into this. We're at room 700. It's been a couple days since I played this. Um, definitely still the battle kit sound. That being said, there's a chance I might actually have a, a weekend this weekend. I might actually have some time off. So I might actually get two days off this weekend, so that's really cool and convenient because Resident Evil 8 comes out this Friday. I'm not sure what time. And of course it'll take a while for it to download once it's out. But that should be interesting. I did a playthrough, a blind playthrough of Resident Evil 7 a couple months back. So. Uh, yes, hello. Hello? It's kind of something different what happened. But, okay, quick turn, not that I use that, and sprinting, which I use a lot of. Well, I don't know if we're going to run to the puppet guy or the Venus flytrap dude, but I have to actually look at my back doors. I'm tempted just to run the whole damn time. Hell, if it's something that I haven't seen kill me yet, and it's early on, maybe I'll let it kill me just so I can see a different ending. But at the same time, if I'm like 30 rooms in, I don't want to have to redo it. Huh? I wonder if it's better just to run. I at least didn't make an audible noise to that, but I did definitely jump. I don't know if that was noticeable. This is a different color door. Okay, I don't know if the other guy made it this far, but I feel like we just arrived at Burger King. Still hungry. Okay, I heard a noise. Um. Excuse me. I'm actually, kind of hungry. Looks like there's a letter back there. Can I get back there? To read? I gotta go to the bathroom. Fucking! I'll hold it. Fun rules. Let's see if we can read this. Be this tall. I don't think I'm that tall. No screams. Look out for snakes. No alcohol. No driving. Diving. No hiding. We will find you. Oh. Okay, I have to be that tall. I'm not allowed to scream. How did... Shoes. Look out for snakes. Learn how I'm going to dive. Okay. Um, so, like, there's only door left. I was required to go to the women's bathroom. 
Ah. So. See a piece of paper. Well, there's no. Oh. That's. Well, I broke my one rule today. Management doesn't give out actual lunch breaks, so I can't go anywhere, and they won't allow food outside here. I mean, they actually screamed the last customer who did that. Anyway, I had a burger. It wasn't bad, and I don't feel sick, so I might get a few every now and then. It's page three. Heard a noise. What am I carrying? Oh, okay, it's just a wide hitbox for it. Okay. What does it? Nope. Uh, okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 8. My playthrough that I did a couple months back was just on easy, but it was blind. Okay. This is. Where was page 1 and 2? I had a dream last night. About this rush, I know I was here, but I also felt like I was in another place. At the same time, everything looked so wrong. Nothing was the right size, and I kept hearing these strange animal noises, almost like wailing. I guess I just feel guilty for eating that burger the other day. Also, today I saw the man again, the one who kept ordering every ten minutes. This time, he never even left the parking lot. He just got his meal, parked, and then got back in line. Okay, what are you guys putting in this stuff? Nicotine? Like, it sounds like an issue of addiction right there, guys. Okay. Well, it says entrance. How to... Oh. Hmm. I feel like this is more at home in a fucking Saw movie. I cannot sprint inside what is basically just a very colorful vent. Well, I don't know if there's any fucking... Okay, I can't do anything with that. But yeah, I enjoyed my playthrough of Resident Evil 7. I feel like there's concerns that I'm having with this restaurant. Like, I feel like there's been a couple red flags. Has anyone else noticed that? I've got a key! feel like me getting an item for progression. Well, music sounds slightly more ominous. Seriously, where was page 1 and 2? Was I supposed to find a page 1 and 2? Okay. Oh, here's one. I was anxious getting a job here at first, but it seems like things are getting better. This chain is really expanding, which is a shock because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place and its food, though. So I'm going to try and not eat anything from here. Okay. Are we eating people? Is it like cows that serve humans to other humans? Two. Today was a weird day. The average number of orders produced rise as it has been, but I didn't know about the number of people. Today I saw someone use the drive through and order a lot of food for one person. Then about 10 minutes later, back. And they were the same. Okay, even if you're addicted to this stuff, your stomach can only hold so much. I left again, they, another 10 minutes, they were back in. Yeah, I think more than that number three rule where you, like, you know, ate the food, I feel like that should be a red flag to get the fuck out. Something... Usually if you have a gut instinct telling you that you're in danger, you should fucking listen to it. Well... I feel... Well, there's no obvious signs that this is a human. So...
Music changed. Oh my god! We're only at room 710, let it kill you. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing I need to let kill me! I'm pretty sure it's gonna figure it out on its fucking own! Why? Okay. I guess they were literally working for Satan. Not even gonna turn around and look at him. Hell, it looks like the, uh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What? That's not even a. Okay, the doors are hidden. At least it was an obvious place, but still. What the fuck? I'm tired. This is. Oh, come on! At least the door isn't, like, trying to walk around. Whoever composed the music did a good job of making unsettling music. Okay, is it still following me? No. Anyway. So I had fun playing Resident Evil 7 blind, but I just did the one playthrough and that was it. Anyway, with Resident Evil 8, of course I'll be playing it blind, hell, I haven't even played any of the demos. I think they came out with a demo a couple months ago, and mm, what is it? Day 2, food supply depleted water at 30%, mental health deterioration, leaving notes behind to help others, and mark where I've been. Okay. But, that's a wall. I'm pretty sure I hear somebody. Fuck. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 8. So I'll be doing my first playthrough. I'm still hungry. I want a cheeseburger. Right, if it's a puppet guy or... The, um... What? OH MY GOD! Okay, it's the arcade music. That's why... Nope, nope, I'm a busy cardboard pumpkin. Anyway, I'm looking forward to playing Resident Evil 8, but I haven't played any of the demos. So, like, there was a demo that came out a couple months ago, and one that came out a few weeks ago. I haven't played any of the demos. In fact, all I know about Resident Evil 8 is the memes and the hentai of the Lady Dimestrescu woman, which I don't really understand, like, why, like, there's people doing the whole, like, oh, we want her to step on us and shit like that, which I don't understand that. That seems dumb. But then again, I've never found any attraction to the whole domination pool. It can fly, it can fly, it can fly. Like, that's just not really my cup of tea. I don't know, I think the main thing I look for in somebody is, you know, femininity, and kindness, and loyalty, and respect, and, you know, somebody that appreciates you. Because at the end of the day, OH MY GOD, OH, IT'S THE FUCKING THING. Okay. Okay, that noise is, okay. You had a letter, I can't read it. I need to actually look where I'm going. What? Is it? What? Oh! Are you lying? 
I have infinite stamina now. I feel like they're gonna make me use it. This will probably not be a piece of cake. I have infinite stamina, you say. Um, oh, I just can't run in this room, can I? Um. Oh my god, you fucking bitch. Maybe it's just this room. But I... She didn't take away my stamina bar. She took away my ability to run! When I hold the run button, nothing happens. I mean, I have unlimited stamina for my axe, yes. Because I did deplete stamina in the past. But... I can't run anymore. I can't run. Am I required to fight now? Let's try running now. Nope. Nope. I can't run. She took away my power to run. I have to fight. Or just walk very slowly. Oh my god, I can't run anymore. She took away my ability to... This is even worse than the Resident Evil stamina bar. Because... Oh my gosh. I have to actually kill the things trying to chase me now. I'm still gonna try to walk away from them. But this is awful. This is... Oh, that's not... It's not real. Oh god. What is it? What, what was the noise? Is there any, You can't throw anything new at me, can you? Developers the game, you didn't think of anything new to terrify me, did you? I don't know about that one. Oh my god. I'm not even... Wait. Oh, I have my running back. So I just have unlimited stick. Was that just for a number of rooms? Do I have it back eventually? Was it just making me aware that there's such thing as a purple stamina bar that means I have unlimited axe power, but I can't run at all? Okay, I don't see anything chasing me. Okay, so we are now aware that that's a thing. Okay, so there will still be running sections, but there will be sometimes I have to actually either just crawl by with walking. I'm tempted just to run, at least. You know, we did just get a save, so let's just run. Anyway, I'm looking for a resident boy. I haven't actually. But like I said. I don't understand- OH THE FUCK! Okay, there's no letter. Why does he choose to be cute sometimes and other times not? I thought I heard that centipede. Guess just my imagination. Oh, a letter. Day 3. Hallucinations are manifesting in increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped in the rooms. I have not yet injured, so I don't think the cause is brain injury or blood clot. Anyway, I am looking for a Resident Evil 8. I haven't played any of the uh, demos or anything, so all I know is the memes. Which, I'll be honest, yes, Lady Dimestrescu, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is very attractive. And I, 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 I feel like if Capcom's goal was for me to play a horror game with an erection, um, I, I feel like they will have succeeded. Okay, my neck is itchy. Hold on. Hey, ah, I gotta scratch my arm. Okay, forward. Left. Left. Really? But yeah, I feel like if Capcom's goal is for me to play a game on Berection, they succeeded. I don't know what Lady Dimes Trescu's cup size is, but I mean, the main reason why she's attractive is she has a very athletic, well-built body that's, you know, in good shape. And she has really, really big tits. Which, I mean, like I said, whether they're medium, big, or flat. I mean, I've never complained about any pair of tits I've ever seen. 
Really, probably the most enjoyable was one. Ah, oh, God. Oh, God. It, I, I was too far. I was too far away. I have to run. Okay, we have to focus on this because I have to be very. Son of a fox! Hi! I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you! If I had. They're like, that's why you need to look at the door every time. But if I do that, then I wind up having a tent of fucking centipede. It's like you freaked out and you went immediately to Tentacle Hentai. Where? What is wrong with your mind? It's like, oh no, I'm, I'm freaked out. We're just gonna yell the first thing that pops in our mind. Tentacle Hentai. Like, it's, really? At least you stopped yourself halfway. But then you just like outed yourself about. Like, come on. Stop eating me. I don't know how long I can. Oh, how many rooms must I run through? Does this thing get tired at some point? It's still chasing me. Of course, but... Okay. Thank you. Cool. Anyway, I'm just saying... She has some big tits. And they're very nice. I gotta change hopes. That's hurt my bell or back. I said, I've been with a woman who had like a 40 triple D and that was that was a lot of fun. But I've also been with a girl that was completely flat and that was also a lot of fun too actually. Though I'd say on average, I'd say I've pretty much been average with people with C cups. But I'd say like the most important thing about a person, you know, honestly, you know, when it comes to body is probably just you know, your face. But... Really? Damn it, Kermit the Frog. But... <sighs> but, yeah. Like I said, that's probably the main thing me when it comes to her is just she's just very very physically attractive that is a like I definitely would not have any qualms with what the fuck is this with uh, dating or being what is this wow what a mansion inside another mansion wow maybe I've made it all the way to the end of the house Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance press? Whatever the case, I think this is a good spot to rest. Oh, it's probably where he died. So... I'm just saying, she is very attractive. And I... Is the option to... Okay, what am I reading? I somehow managed to get away, but I don't know for how long I hear him, even... When I know he's not there, it's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fears manifesting themselves and stalking me. This, this is suspicious. This is suspicious. <sighs> okay. I'm waiting for it. Still locked. So can this guy hurt me? I'm gonna assume yes and run from him. Hi? The mansion is strange. I think the bricks are wood and actually just painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, I keep hearing movement and voices below me. Maybe the other survivors are hiding. I'm pretty sure they're not survivors. They're probably prisoners. And they're not hiding, they're being eaten. Bedroom key. Wasn't I just... Yes? In the bedroom? Locked. I'm just saying the biggest thing about Lady Damascu that I really like is that she is very attractive. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have any qualms with dating a woman bigger than me. Grant, I think on average, I think all the women I've ever dated have been like five foot six, five foot seven, around that height on average. 
but I definitely don't have a problem with being taller than me. But like I said, she has really, really big tits. But like I said, some people seem to like the idea of her being dominated. Like, that's... I've never seen the appeal on any of that. But, I don't know, I think the most important thing a woman would be, like... Kindness, femininity, um, loyalty, respect, appreciation. You know, at the end of the day, whether you're a man or a woman, you, know, you want someone who appreciates you. And who cares about you. I think that should be like a given for any kind of relationship, whether it's a short term or long term. You know, somebody you can trust and feel safe around. And, you know, be turned on by. So, I don't know. Hell! I think, I think a good description of that then would be like Albedo. Granted, she's technically like an evil character because you know, it's the Overlord anime. So she definitely, it's not nice, but she's, I think the way she is toward Ainz is actually, it's not something I don't think anybody would complain about. Then again, maybe different people have different tastes. Yeah, some people probably have different tastes. But I'd say the way Alberto is to Heinz. Then again, Alberto does have a really nice body. Then again, you know what? Alberto reminds me of someone else, actually. Astolfo from uh, Fate Apocrypha. I don't know if anyone's heard of this character, but there's a character of the name of Astolfo. Yeah, from, Astolfo is... She is from uh, Fate Apocrypha. I actually think... In terms of femininity and kindness, in terms of loyalty and appreciation for, you know, a particular person, I feel Astolfo and Albedo are the same. Hell, in general, in terms of just outright personality, I would say Albedo is equal to Astolfo. That Albedo from Overlord and Astolfo from Fate Apocrypha, that they're both the same. That they're essentially the same character. That I would dare say that Astolfo, that she has the same personality as Albedo. The only difference, the only difference between Albedo and Astolfo is their Dungeons and Dragons alignment. Because I would say Albedo is lawful evil and Astolfo is chaotic good. So if you were to make Astolfo lawful evil, then Astolfo would just behave exactly like Albedo. In the same way, if you were to make Albedo into a chaotic good character, she would just then act exactly the same as Astolfo. So I would say Albedo is Astolfo. They are equal to each other. I mean, they're basically the same character. The only difference is they're Dungeons and Dragons alignment. You know, one's lawful evil, the other's chaotic good. But they have the same personality, just different alignment. Huh. Anyway. I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I know not this is not exit or resting place. It's just another specimen room. I think he's a fuck. Shit. I don't know where I hide. Oh my god, I don't think I have time either. Hide. What am I expected to do? I am too, but I feel like we are going about this in different ways. You are being threatening and creepy, and I am just weird and endearing. On a side note, I've never hurt anyone in my life aside from self-defense. And you, I feel that is probably not true for. So, do I need to leave? I probably get penalized for what is my goal? Where am I supposed to go? I'm assuming running attracts at least. I don't think this game reacts to a microphone or anything. Not that I have a legitimate microphone, I just li literally have... I 
it is litter. Okay, there was something locked up here earlier. This was the wrong door. Well, I hear him. I'm just saying I have a microphone built into this thing. Come on. Noko, where's the library? Um, probably this way. Fuck. I'm hoping this guy can't open up. Uh, You know what this game is really taking advantage of? The fact that I don't have a sense of direction. I get lost so easily. I have a feeling that we're going to see a game over soon. I just hope that I can at least have better stamina than this. Huh. I go this way then? Locked. Okay, I'm doing a lot of backtracking, which I feel is going to result me walking into this. I, didn't I go a different way to get here? Where am I going? Even if I had a map, I still wouldn't know where the hell to go. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm going to get penalized if I run. Like he's going to hear it. Oh! I found a library. I found a key to the parlor. Is this it? Come on. Damn it. I just hope he can't go through a door the same. Damn it. Damn it. I feel like I should go this way. I don't know where I'm going. I have no sense of direction. This is new. Take book. Is this a good hiding?
Oh god. I can smell you. Please be behind me. I'm so Please be lonely somewhere else. God damn it, motherfucker! Where is it's over there, it's over there, it's over there. Oh, go 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 go. I'm so tired. Please don't come through the door. He came through the door. You why couldn't you stay in your own room? You had a whole little mansion to yourself! Am I expected to fight him? I'm pretty sure I can outrun him, but I'm busy, little skeleton. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, he is a little bit persistent. I'm 
It's like, what happened? Oh, we gave Pyramid Head meth. Like, why would you do that? seem very friendly, sir. You actually seem quite the opposite. I feel like the other monsters would be scared of you. Not hearing him anymore. So I think I need to start. Probably not giving our save till 900. What a scrap. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta adjust how I'm sitting. At least nothing can hurt me on the pause menu. Ah, oh, I gotta adjust how I'm sitting though. A pillow here. Okay. I'm not that far away from you, buddy. Okay. Oh, where's the door? Remember, you can turn around when you fight this. This can't be very far away. Not this way. Just, just no.
feel like he walks a little faster than before. Um. Not sure what to expect from this music right now. Running is the best thing I can do, as long as it's not the puppet guy or the really lonely guy that just. And like I said, I would, I definitely would be absolutely really cool with just lots of hugs from Diametrescu. Just, I don't understand the people wanting the other shit. That being said, I feel like any kind of thoughts along those ways of affection and, you know. Care Bears and My Little Pony sort of thoughts. I feel like when I play Resident Evil 8, it's going to kill all that. Like, it's like, yep, that's that's not what's going to happen in this game. This is a horror game with about zombies and vampires. Uh, we're going to make you feel weird about your erection. How long is this hallway? Does this hallway go forever? Okay. Um, what? I can't even move. What? 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 Hi? What? I can't move. What is happening? I see a door. It is open. I can't move. What? What was I even supposed to do? Why do I have to go back and redo the Pyramid Head Silent Hill dude? For like, what? Tara Fusion of Pyramid Head and the guy from Clock Tower? But what ha- why did I die? Was I just not supposed to keep running down the hallway forever? I- Why, why did I die? 
What was I supposed to do? I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't even understand why I died. But from the moment I got stopped in that hallway, I couldn't move. I could, I couldn't swing an axe. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. My character was just stuck. I, even during that animation where that thing came at me to kill me, I was trying to move the whole time. I, I couldn't move. I couldn't do, I couldn't even swing my axe. I, I, I don't even understand why I died. Anyway, I'm going to call that a part, and I, I don't know why I died. But I hope everyone out there had a wonderful day. Bye.